So welcome to Unit 8, Motivation, Emotion, and Stress. Remember that if you're joining us, we well, probably won't remember if this is the first time joining us, but these slides align to, they're actually uh, accompany the textbook, Meyer Psychology for the AP Course, third edition. Today, we are gonna be talking about module 39, sexual motivation. There are three learning targets to, be, to explain how hormones influence human sexual motivation, to describe the human sexual response cycle, and to discuss how external and imagined stimuli contribute to sexual arousal. So is sex a need? Sex is not like hunger because it is not an actual need, but yet it still motivates people. A small number of, hum of humans are asexual and have no sexual attraction to others. How do sex hormo hormones influence human development? During the prenatal period, sex hormones direct our development as males or fem females. During puberty, a sex hormone surge ushers us into adolescence. After puberty and well into the late adult years, sex hormones facilitate sexual behavior. So what are the two sex hormones? Testosterone. Both males and females have testosterone, but the additional testosterone in males stimulates the growth of the male sex organs during the fetal period and the development of the male sex characteristics during puberty. Estrogen is a sex hormone that contributes to female sex characteristics and is secreted in greater amounts by females than males. Estrogen levels peak during ovulation. So how do hormones influence sexuality? Females become sexually receptive when their estrogens peak at ovulation. If a woman's natural testosterone level drops, as happens with the removal of the ovaries or adrenal glands, sexual interest may wane. In human males with abnormally low testosterone levels, testosterone replacement therapy often increases sexual desire and energy and vitality. <clears throat> Excuse me. How can hormonal surges impact sexual desire? The surge of hormones that occurs during puberty triggers the development of sex characteristics and sexual interest. If puberty's hormonal surge is precluded, as what happened during the 1600s and 1700s for pre-pubertal -puber boys who were castrated to preserve their soprano voices for Italian opera, the sex characteristics and sexual desire did not develop normally. Um, how can hormonal decline impact sexual desire. In later life, sex hormone levels fall. Women experience menopause as their estrogen levels decrease. Males experience a more gradual change. Sex remains a part of life, but as hormone levels decline, um, sexual fantasies and intercourse decline as well. How can hormonal shifts impact sexual desire? So for some, surgery or drugs may cause hormonal shifts. When adult men were castrated, their sex drive typically fell as testosterone levels declined sharply. Male sex offenders who took a drug that reduced their testosterone levels um, similarly less, uh, lost uh, much of their sexual urge. So if you're taking the AP exam, AP psychology exam, here's a tip from the publisher, the book publisher, the central, the book authors actually, the central principle here is that there are many biological processes that govern human behavior less rigidly than they govern the behavior of other species. Because of our highly developed brain, sex hormones have less control over our behavior than they do over other animals' behaviors. And that's a really important point, whether or not you're taking an AP exam or not, to understand that because of our brain development, sex hormones in and of themselves have less control over our behavior, okay? How about hormone replacement therapy? We might compare human sex hormones, especially testosterone, to the fuel in a car. Without fuel, a car will not run. But if the fuel level is minimally adequate, adding more won't change how the car runs. So in terms of the sexual response cycle, the four stages of sexual responding were described by William Masters and Virginia Johnson in 1966. Masters and Johnson, they're commonly referred to. Phase one is the excitement phase. Phase two is plateau. Phase three is orgasm. And phase four is resolution. How about the biopsychosocial influences on sexuality? So let's think about sexual motivation. There are biological influences, sexual maturity, sex hormones, especially testosterone. The psychological influences, exposure to stimulating conditions and sexual fantasies. And then the social cultural influences, family and societal values, religious and personal values, cultural expectations and media. All of these things in this biopsychosocial model is what we've 
seen woven throughout all of our modules in AP Psychology, all of these things interact and have an effect on sexual motivation. So how do external stimuli influence sexual arousal? Men and women become aroused when they see or hear certain types of material. However, with a repeated exposure to the stimulus, including erotic stimulus, the emotional response lessens or habituates. So um, this is an issue that's actually being studied a lot right now. How important are psychological factors? Compared with our motivation for eating, our sexual motivation is less influenced by, by biological factors. Psychological and sociocultural factors play a much bigger role. Can exposure to sexually explicit material have adverse effects on women? Well, the research tells us yes. Depictions of women being sexually coerced and um, have increased viewers' belief in the false idea that women want to be overpowered and have increased male viewers' expressed willingness um, to commit terrible acts after viewing such things. So research shows that yes, viewing sexually explicit types of material like this can have adverse effects on women. How about on relationships? After viewing images of erotic films of sexually attractive women and men, people have judged an average person, person is less attractive. Um, so, and then they found that their own relationship less satisfying according to this research. Can exposure to sexually explicit material have adverse effects on men? Yes, some studies have found that extensive online pornography exposure desensitizes young men, okay? In one brain imaging study, men who frequently watch pornography had smaller sized brain re regions that aid in sexual pleasure. So frequently um, being exposed to explicit material can have an adverse effect on men, women, and on relationships in general. Does imagination pl play a role in sexual arousal? Both men and women, about 95% of each, each report having sexual fantasies, which for a few women can by themselves, um, sorry, some dog issues and my phone ringing. Um, Okay, so men, regardless of sexual orientation, tend to have more frequent, more physical, and less romantic fantasies. Um, some men also prefer less personal content in books and videos. So how does commitment enhance contentment? In one national study that followed participants to age 30, later first sex predicted greater satisfaction in one's marriage or partnership. Okay, so this research is saying that Later first sexual experience actually predicts greater satisfaction in one's marriage or partnership later on. How does building a relationship enhance sexual satisfaction? Another study asked 2,035 married people when they started having sex, those whose relationships first developed to a deep commitment, such as marriage, not only reported greater sat relationship satisfaction and stability, but also a greater sexual relationship. So to our learning targets, for all but the tiny fraction of us considered asexual, dating and mating become a priority from puberty on. The female estrogen and male testosterone hormones influence sexual behavior in other species. Sorry, I'm having phone messages. <laughs> um, okay. Explain how hormones influence human sexual motivation. These hormones direct sexual development in the prenatal period, trigger development of sexual characteristics in adolescence, and help activate sexual behavior from puberty to late adulthood. Women's sexuality, as well as men's, is responsive to testosterone levels. Short-term shifts in testosterone level are normal in men, partly in response to stimulation. William Masters and Virginia Johnson well-known sex researchers described four stages in the sexual response cycle, excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. Males then enter a refractory period during which renewed arousal and orgasm are impossible. External stimuli can trigger sexual ar arousal in both men and women. Viewing sexually coercive material can lead to increased acceptance of violence toward women. Viewing sexually explicit material can cause people to perceive their partners as comparatively less appealing and to devalue their relationships. Imagine stimuli help trigger sexual arousal. And remember, a lot of these things are continually being studied right now. So that is it. That's the end of this module. Thank you for listening. Take care.